Trainual Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Trainual. Trainual is a powerful platform designed to simplify and streamline your team's training and documentation processes. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the key features and functionalities of Trainual, empowering you to maximize its potential and revolutionize the way you train and educate your team. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Trainual, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, look for the Try for Free button. Click on it to proceed. After clicking the Try for Free button, you will be redirected to the registration page. Here, you need to enter your business email and create a strong password for your account. Once you have filled in the required information, click on the Create Account button. It may take a while for your account to be created as the system processes your request. Once your account has been successfully created, you will need to set up your profile. This involves uploading a profile photo, entering your full name, and providing your mobile number. Once you have completed this step, click on the Next Step button to proceed further. The next step in the setup process is to provide additional information. This may include details about your role, department, or any other relevant information depending on the platform's requirements. After providing the necessary information, you will be directed to your account dashboard. Once you log into your Trainual account and access your account dashboard, you will notice a left menu that provides easy navigation to various tabs and features. The My Desk tab gives you an overview of your desks and provides a helpful getting started guide. Within this tab, you can view all types of content, including favorites, incomplete tasks, completed tasks, and reference materials that you have assigned to others. Under the Company tab, you can gain insights into your business and its operations. This section allows you to access templates that can be used as a starting point for creating new content. Additionally, there is a Create Subject button that enables you to create a subject from scratch, tailoring it to your specific needs. The People tab provides you with access to the directory, org chat, and roles. In the directory, you can find information about individuals within your organization, such as their contact details and roles. The org chart serves as a visual representation of the hierarchical structure of your company, allowing you to see who reports to whom. Lastly, the roles feature enables you to create roles for different departments and job titles, facilitating bulk assignment of content. Under the Policies tab, you can access a collection of all the important policies within your company. This centralized location ensures an easy access and reference for employees. The Processes tab is dedicated to storing all the specific how-tos and processes that are relevant to your team. Here you can organize and document step-by-step -step instructions and guidelines to streamline workflows and ensure consistency. The Reports tab provides valuable insights into your training and documentation efforts. You can generate reports such as subject reports, people reports, and view the latest activity to monitor progress and track engagement. The Account tab allows you to manage your account settings, including billings and plans. Additionally, you can explore integration options to connect Trainual with other tools or platforms that your business uses. Now, let's see how to create a role. Roles are undoubtedly one of the most powerful tools in Trainual as they allow you to efficiently assign content to groups of individuals who share similar responsibilities. To create a role in Trainual, follow these steps. First, navigate to the top right corner of the screen and locate the plus button. Clicking on this button will trigger a drop-down menu to appear. From the drop-down menu, select the option that says Create Role. After selecting Create Role, a pop-up window will appear on your screen. In this window, you can enter the name of the new role you wish to create. Trainual also provides suggested roles based on your industry, which you can use from if applicable. You have the flexibility to create as many roles as you need to effectively organize your team. Once you have entered the desired role name and made any additional selections, click on the Save button. This action will save your changes and create new roles within Trainual. Next, let's see how to create a new subject. A subject in Trainual is a collection of processes, policies, or procedures that can be applicable to the entire company or specific departments and roles. Think of subjects as folders that organize your content. They provide a structured way to manage and present information within Trainual. To create a new subject in Trainual, which refers to content related to company information, policies, or processes, follow these steps. First, navigate to the top right corner of the screen and locate the plus button. Clicking on this button will reveal a drop-down menu. From the drop-down menu, select the option that says Create Subject. 
After selecting Create Subject, a pop-up window will appear on your screen. In this window, you need to enter the name of your subject in the designated Subject Name field. Next, choose the Assignee for the subject from the Assign an Owner field. This indicates the person responsible for overseeing and managing the subject. Provide relevant details and information about the subject in the Description field. Additionally, you can choose the location for the subject by selecting from the options in the Choose Location field. To further enhance the new subject you are creating, you can click on the Advanced Subject Settings option. This will open a list of different options that you can activate by clicking on the corresponding checkbox. For example, if you want to set a due date for the subject, click on the checkbox next to Set a Due Date. Once selected, you can choose from predefined options such as 7 days or 14 days or select a custom option to set your own specific number of days. After filling in all the required information correctly, click on the Create button to create the subject. Once you click on this button, the new subject will be successfully created. To access the subject you have created, navigate to the Company tab. Clicking on the Company tab will display the subjects you have created along with their respective status. In this case, the status may be labeled as unpublished until you choose to publish the subject and make it accessible to your team. Next, let's see how to integrate Trainual with other apps. To integrate Trainual with other apps and enhance productivity, follow these steps. Firstly, navigate to the left menu in Trainual and click on the Account tab. From there, select the Integration option to access the integration page. On the integration page, you will find a variety of apps that can be integrated with Trainual. Simply choose the desired app and proceed with the integration process. For example, let's consider integrating Trainual with Slack. Scroll down to the integration page until you locate the Slack option. Once found, click on it to proceed. You will be directed to another page where you can find detailed information about Slack integration and its associated benefits. On this page, click on the Add to Slack button. Clicking on the Add to Slack button will open a new window where you need to enter the URL of your Slack workspace. To find your Slack URL, log into your Slack account and open your workspace. Copy the URL of your workspace and paste it into the designated field. Once you have provided the Slack workspace URL, click on Continue. After that, you will be redirected back into the integration page where you initially accessed the app to integrate. In our case, the app is Slack. On this page, you will now see the option Disconnect Slack, indicating that your Slack and Trainual accounts are successfully integrated. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Trainual. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.